from the guys at War Games Foundry, I have the Ashigaru Yari troops. These are your 16th century medieval bog standard Japanese infantry man who did the hard of the fighting in the lines. Probably the guys that went in first because they were your bog standard infantry. A Yari is basically a spear type weapon that the uh, spear or pike type weapon that gives you a little bit of distance to stab your guy if you're a few feet away from him rather than walking right up to him. That's the advantage of it. The downside of it is if you're in a big crush of guys and you don't get room to spin it round and throw it at people and all that there nonsense because you're stuck because the guy to either side of you pressing in on you. But if we get a look what we get in our box Tactically, I'm not a fan of spikes or pears. spears. You get 25 times 28 mil guys in this box. These are their little bases. On the underside, as I said the last time, whenever I did the Samurai, so my favorite models of last year, you get your little square base. You also get your little logo on the bottom of it to say who these guys are made by. It goes back to the old, I found this random dude on a shelf somewhere. I don't know who he's made by. You turn him upside down. He's got logos there. And you can go out and find tons more of them. In our box then you get one. Oh, if they don't come out. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five times this sprue. Again, they're all built with the little slots that they all sit together. Uh, if, because if you look in my garage at the house, I've got a pile of sprues and the best ones that sit are the ones that are built like so with the corners with all the slots in them as you might see there So you get five times this sprue If we start off at the top here is all your various heads You can have a guy without his hat or you can have a guy with all these walk looking hats on them Here's a little arm with a sword. Obviously, these guys had the Yari pike type spear weapon, but they also had a sword because you need back you need backup weapons. Here's all your little swords and your little shorter dagger type weapons that is hooked on to each one of your guys. And you also have the classic big, tall, long, thin standard. If you see anything to do with sort of Japanese medieval. This is the big standard that you got across the board for each individual unit. Uh, if we move across then, here we have some of our various legs that they're being part of. I think it's part of a backpack, but we'll see once we, we, we build a little set of these. Here's some of your legs. Here's the rest of your legs plus bodies. The halves of the bodies here. Down the bottom then. You get the other halves, the back halves of the bodies, and here we have the various arms for holding. Like here's here's one with a guy drinking, uh, having a drink. Medieval battles, sometimes they went on all day and getting water supplied to your men. I know in some of the European type battles of this era, every now and again, the whole thing would just stop. Everybody would stop fighting until they would get a drink. Then they just all start fighting again with no real set, no hooter went off to say it's drunk time. You'd fight so long, it would just all of a sudden stop. Everybody getting a drink. Here we have the little individual type standards that you can put on each one of your guys to say, hello, my name's Jim and I'm here to stab you today. I don't think they actually said that, but I'm just making it up. So they could have done. And here we have various little arms again, all set for holding your yari. And this last piece in the corner uh, is a little hand holding up what, I don't know, it looks like a shoulder, but we'll see. You get five of these sprues, guys. They're all exactly the same and they're all to the same quality. I see no flash, nothing on these that would put me off at all. Haha, -ha, I figured it out. Those two little hands go onto this big backpack here that is like the traveling huge one guy carrying a backpack. So that's that's where they all go. Believe he that big backpack may be uh, your supplies of liquid or whatnot. Could even be your medical guy. But 
going to go build us a little squad of these guys and we're going to get to see what they look like in the second half of our video. I now have my little Asuguru Yari guys built. These are great little models. I did the Samurais last year. The Samurai were very good and these are equally as good. They are of last year. The Samurais were probably, in, they were definitely in my top two with the Avatar Dwarves and these are the best models since then I have seen. Started off with this guy with the big backpack in this running sort of pose with the arms holding the pack on. I'm not exactly sure what they keep in this pack. I could make it up that they keep the bones of a dead dwarf in there, but I wouldn't necessarily be correct. So if anybody knows, tell us what they kept in these big backpacks. Again, straightforward, goes together, no issues. Stuck this little head on him. He's the only guy that didn't stick the proper head on and he's got his uh, katana sword there. He's all set, great little model. All of these models, very poseable, really, really useful. I then built my standard guy, the guy carrying my banner. I kneeled him down, give him this arm here. We sort of shouting these guys orders or whatnot. Not that your standard bear would necessarily shout orders, but again, standard, nice wave in it. You're going to have to be good at painting if you're going to do some sort of logo on that to get it in corporate into the wave he's got his sword uh whole works everything works for me it's all again a very very good little model with nice pieces and nice posability you could have equally had him with these running legs with the, with the standard out in front of him running forward because you can pose these guys wonderfully i then did this guy he would be my sort of commander, champion type fellow with his sword out, with his other backup swords because people did carry quite a few swords. Uh, again, cool, love all the heads that's on them. Just good models. And then I finally built a couple of Yari guys. If we go with this guy first, model him quite back so that uh, his Yari's quite far out in front of him. Again, it's all about the length of your weapon and getting it stuck into the other guy first before he can stick you one. You know, nobody's worried who goes second at this stage. Uh, cool looking guy, cool helmet, again, body, all of it, straightforward to build. No issues with it whatsoever. They all have their own little bases. And finally did this guy who's sort of marching forward or standing with his Yari at his side, getting ready to do the hard killing that he's going to have to do during the battle at some point or he's maybe going to be Mr. Win, but for me he's going to do some hard killing and straightforward again you can see if you hold him down like this he's Yari up above his head again guys these are some of the best models I have seen they work they do their job they're all poseable there's no issues putting these together. See some people send you models and you have two poseable arms with a weapon that goes in the middle of it. You know it's going to be a bugger. These things go together really well. They're really cool little models. I see no downside to them. Tell me what you think, guys. Did you get some of the Samurais? Tell me what you think of these. I'm going to go on and see what else I can find from these guys. I'll see you in the next one.